guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to review The Gear of Yes by Shonda Rhimes. Now, when I got this book out of the library on Overdrive as an audiobook, I had no idea who this woman was. I read the synopsis and I was like, this is fantastic. I'm gonna read this. Listen to it, whatever. It's the same thing in my world. Now, so apparently Shonda Rhimes is this big to-do um, on TV. She pretty much owns Thursday night on one of the big networks, um, like with Scandal and Grey's Anatomy. Like she's a she's amazing. So, um, so I learned that. So, fun fact. <laughs> oh, let's see here. This may be the third time I'm trying to record this because things just keep happening. Let's see. So. The, the premise of the book is, for a year, Shonda is going to do things that scare her, are out of her comfort zone. Give interviews, like on TV, uh, speeches, go to parties, that sort of thing. She's never really done that before. That's just not her thing. Um, like She gets all these invites, but she doesn't actually do them. So for a year, she's challenging herself to actually go and do them. So you see a lot of her character development, um, which I think is fantastic. I loved how she, she, she was scared to do these things, but she said, you know, I said I was going to say yes, so I'm going to say yes. So there are things that she learns throughout the year that she mentions in the book that I thought were really um, important, especially for, um, women, because she is a African-American woman. So there are things that she talks about, like, find a cause that you love and dedicate one hour a week to it, uh, volunteering, and, you know, retweeting hashtags doesn't count, you actually have to physically do something. Um, and also saying yes to yourself, your health, which, you know, especially if you're a parent, that's something that, like, for me, I, I don't do. I don't put my health first. I don't put myself first. Um, saying yes to your accomplishments. Like, saying someone is lucky, got lucky, means they didn't do anything. You know, oh, you got that promotion because, you, you know, you're so lucky. No, they worked for it you know, and just learning how to say, recognize the work that you put in for things that you actually earned, you know, getting lucky is, you know, playing the lottery, getting a promotion or whatever accomplishment is not a lottery, unless it's the actual lottery, but that's besides the point. Um, sorry guys, uh, my allergies are crazy today, so I'm going to be a little sniffly. Um, and... So, like, ugh, sorry guys, ugh, so gross. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. So moving on, uh, learn to take compliments. You know, that's something that a lot of people don't know how to do. I, I don't know how to do, you know, and it's something that we should all know how, that, you know, Oh, you look so great. Oh, no, I don't. You know, but no. You, you, we need to learn how to take compliments. We need to learn um, to stand up for ourselves and say no. Um, those two kind of go hand in hand. Um, you know, learn to say no so you don't overextend yourself, overschedule yourself. You know, stand up for yourself. Stand up for the time that you have in your day. Um, you know, if you want to set a family night with your family, you know, you stand up for that and say, no, nothing is happening on this night. I'm hanging out with my kid. I'm hanging out with my husband. You know, we're going to have popcorn and ice cream for dinner while we watch movies. You know, whatever it is, you know, stand up for what you have determined for yourself. And I think it's a very empowering book. And I definitely suggest the audio book. So I rated the actual book 5 out of 5. This is very inspirational. It's definitely something that is worth a reread. 
Um, and I gave the audiobook a 5 out of 5 for a few reasons. One, Shonda is the narrator, which I always love when memoirs are narrated by the author. I love those. Um, the other thing is when she's talking about the speeches that she gives, instead of having her read the speech um, as the audiobook, they actually put in the clips from when she gave the speech. So because it was recorded, you know, she did one at a college and they recorded it. So they put that in there, you know, applause and everything. I loved that. It was fantastic. So I definitely recommend this. Um, you may know there are certain things that I'm trying to include in all of my reviews. There's no trigger warnings that I remember. Um, there is diversity, as I mentioned. She's an African-American woman. Um, with memoirs, world building, character development, and storyline are all kind of irrelevant. I don't want to say irrelevant, but they're not necessarily written for that. I mean, there is character development, as I mentioned before, because she is striving to better herself and challenge herself. So you do see that. Um, so it's, it's a little different when you're reviewing and rating memoirs, but if you guys have seen, uh, if you guys have been here for a few videos, you know my ratings are one star, I don't like it, I probably DNF'd it, three stars, I liked it, but I won't reread it, and five stars is, I loved it, and I'm gonna reread it. So like all the books I actually own are ones I, I want to reread, eventually, when I stop reading all the new things. So, <laughs> um... So that is all I have for this review. If you read this book, let me know what you thought down in the comments so we can chat about it. Uh, also, there will be a cute little video somewhere on here with the new end screen things in YouTube of some random cuteness I found on YouTube for you because why not? So I will see you guys in the next video. Later!